Welcome to Trending Places. Today we will take you to Arctic Adventure in Svalbard. Between mainland Norway and the North Pole, there is a group of islands in Norway called Svalbard. It is one of the most northerly inhabited regions on Earth and is renowned for its icy tundra, glaciers, and rough, inaccessible terrain, which protect polar bears, Svalbard reindeer, and Arctic foxes. Winter is when the northern lights are visible, and summer is when the midnight sun, sunlight all day, occurs. You briefly believe that the universe is all alone. Near the North Pole, the area is vast and silent beneath the northern lights. Near Longyearbyen, there are a lot of glaciers. Take a day tour to see the glacier's magnificent ice wall from the water. Preserve in mind to keep your distance as periodically large chunks of ice fall into the ocean during ice carving, causing extremely large waves. Additionally, you can go on a guided glacier walk or visit enchanted ice cabins that transport you to the ice age. But keep in mind that in order to stay safe once you leave the Longyearbyen municipal limits, you must go with a knowledgeable guide. This is so because Svalbard is the home territory of the polar bear. We have to accept their authority over this region. Arctic nature is harsh yet also delicate. That is why protected areas make up more than half of Svalbard. Do not abandon anything in the outdoors, be responsible. Longyearbyen has received the Sustainable Destination Certification. The destination has pledged to work methodically to lessen the adverse consequences of tourism while enhancing its beneficial side effects, even though this does not imply that the destination is sustainable. Additionally, higher heights offer an even better view. On foot, skis, a snowmobile, or while being pulled by a pack of bouncy huskies, explore the varied, unspoiled terrain of Svalbard. Polar dogs adore jogging and thrive in this frigid climate. Travel the Arctic Ocean via boat or kayak. A lot of operators provide day trips. Try Hittigritten Silent, hybrid-powered catamaran as one environmentally friendly option. Travel to Pyramidae, a living history museum, by foot or by snowmobile. There were 1,000 residents here during its peak. When the coal mine closed, the majority of the locals relocated. Nothing compares to the illumination on Svalbard in the winter when the stars appear to be quite close. Between October and February is the dark season, and the northern lights intensify the atmosphere. Additionally, you can go on a guided glacier walk or visit enchanted ice cabins that transport you to the ice age. The dark season offers a variety of activities, like climbing up Platchelet Mountain, dog sledding, and viewing the northern lights. The midnight sun illuminates the sky from April to August during the summer. Interesting thing you don't need visa to enter or work in Svalbard.
Hope you like the video. We have more than 150 videos on trending places. Do like and subscribe. Keep watching.